The first point is mm -hmm. called variable reward. And this is what addicts people to slot machines. It's also the same thing that addicts people to TikTok or YouTube. It's not the, the actual success. Like if you're playing a slot machine, it's not winning. It's the anticipation of winning. And what happens is, is that you get a dopamine hit in the anticipation of winning. And that's what keeps you playing, even if you win, because winning can be anticlimactic. Second thing is that the amygdala is your fear and fury switch. And it's going to say, enemy, or you have to survive, or whatever it happens to be when you see a headline that says, oh, look at these Democrats, or oh, look at these Republicans, or whatever it happens to be that you're, you're raging about. Your brain rewards you for this because it thinks that you're surviving. You're defending yourself, you're defending the tribe. And that's how humans have survived for the last 200,000 years. Which leads into the third thing, which is the adrenaline and cortisol cocktail. It feels energizing when these two are released, but it actually wears you down, so it's deceptive. And finally, there is the suppression of your prefrontal cortex. Now, if you've ever stayed up all night or you've ever drank a beer or whatever it happens to be, you can feel that your judgment is immediately impaired and you start acting goofy. You make decisions that maybe you wouldn't ordinarily make. This is your prefrontal cortex or your judgment, the, putting the brakes, you filter on your judgment. That's it getting weak. So the reason why all of this feels like a fix is that it gives you a sense of control. Raging feels like you're interacting with your environment and you're controlling yourself and you're defending yourself. And there's an in-group bias. We actually get rewarded when we defend the in-group. We get rewarded when we feel like our team is winning, which is why we get into these filter bubbles, right? Which is also called epistemic closure. Epistemic closure is being exposed to only information that is good for you, right? We need other opinions. We need diverse views. Finally, your basal ganglia will actually wire up this doom scroll into dopamine loop into your brain so that you keep doing it. So it's like the ultimate vicious cycle of total shit show. But the problem is there's a cost to this. The more cortisol is, is released, the more it affects your sleep. It gives you higher blood pressure and it suppresses your immune system. Perhaps worse is that your hippocampus, which is where your memories are stored, shrinks. So this is why it makes you stupid. It gives you brain fog. It gives you poor memory by way of the bad sleep, which just continues this cycle. And then that cycle embeds itself in your brain. And so you wire yourself for this doom scrolling, endless loop of, of doom and rage. Recognize and have awareness when this is happening. And all agree that the people around us, we have so much more in common with them than we actually think we do.